Here's Mark from True Seeker. And uh, let's see, we're in Soul 593. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit a couple of pictures real quick and just show you some crazy stuff with minor minor adjustments. I mean, look at this, it, it, now, if you've seen any of my videos, you know where I'm going, that this is just fake smudging, all of this. You could see there's, uh, it looks to be like some type of honeycomb structure, uh, but you could see it clearly metal handles, you could see, that's, that's clear, you could see the reflection off of it. Now, what do I think we're looking at? Um, I think it comes up this way, like this. Um, I think it's maybe a couple inches thick. And it's got this weird, you know, fake blur around it. And you see there's more of this blur. There looks to be some type of statue. You could see the base under this haze. You see what I'm talking about? There's some type of statue hidden in there. And then back here, you see this, how they put this blur right over it. They put this crazy, like, haze. You see what's hidden here? You see this? Could be a skull of something. Some sort. Back here looks to be like some type of box. Then here's more of that funky, like, golden haze. And then there's some type of equipment back here. You can see it's piping of some sort. Let's see how it comes out. There's some type of piping back there. And then there's more of this just fake haze. You can see some of the stuff behind it. Let's see how good we can get this to come in. You see this piece of equipment? You see some of the piping and stuff. They, I mean, they really blurred it pretty good, but you know, as always, I do my best to represent the truth here. This in here is all filler. All of this, you can see where it cuts off, and then they go to like a lighter, opaque. Because it wouldn't look right if you just kept going with all of this. It'd just be too obvious. Let me see what's back here. Let's see how close I can get in there for you. Alright, you see what I'm talking about? There's definitely structure symmetry back there. Repetitive structure. Alright, you kind of got the hint. I gave you the link, you know, you know, you know what to do from there. You know what I want you to do. I want you to go look for yourself, number one. Because you know what? I could be lying here. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing better to do. I got nothing better to do with my life than to sit on Yahoo and make these videos and lie to everybody about the truth. But, let me see. You can see what they blurred here. See, this is all fake. That's there's, that's not no rock. See this haze? You see what they're covering up here? We'll see how. This is all, I think, some type of piece of machinery. Whether it's functional or a million years old. Uh, that we'll probably never know, but you see this haze they put over it. Let's see how close we can get in there. You can see underneath it a little bit. There's, you can see there's like a pipe coming out of it. What would a pipe be doing coming out of all that haze? What would handles be doing coming out of all that haze?
let's move on. Okay, now we're in... Alright, come on, focus. Well, we're in 593 still, but a different picture. Look at this thing. Another thing that looks like it's got some type of spout coming out of it. Or some type of bent piping. And there's some type of weird blur down on the bottom that could be at it covering this item up. Could be. I actually do think it's that because of the way it's cut. See how crisp it is, that cut? Now, to have a cut that crisp, you're probably, it's either man made or, so I, I think it's just computer generated blocking this item. That's all I think we're looking at there. Here, I could be wrong, but I think we're looking at maybe some type of wood standing up out of here. And there's some type of metal. But it's just got all this haze around. Like I showed you the other night how they fill this in. They just pick a certain color. And they go to town. They just do as they will. See this? Lately, it's been tough, but you can see there's like structures and carvings underneath it. This could this could go down feet. You could be looking off walls and stuff, and then they just fill it with that, and it just just blends. You know, this could be a wall coming up, maybe who knows? You know, and they just everything is just blended together. This is a wall. See how they put this blur? See what it looks like there's a statue here. See this weird thing? You see the statue behind it? See how they just put this? They just come up here and they draw that right in. Nothing fancy. See this weird thing behind it? Am I always right? No. But the crazy thing is, I only got to be right 0.1% of the time. And my point is proven. The debunkers have to be right 100% of the time about everything I show you. Which is impossible. See how you can see through this haze? Here it's showing up pretty good, this part. Yeah, you can see through it, almost like you're looking through water, like cloudy water. That's what my sister calls it, cloudy water. Yeah. You see how you can see there's a structure back here? See how they just twi blurred it and twisted it? But you could see there's something under there. You could actually see part of it comes out here. It almost looks like uh, like a baby donkey's head or something. But you can see part of the statue's coming out. And then it would come down. There's the legs. You see how they just put this blur? You can see part of it down on the bottom here. I mean, it's pretty, you know, once you're... Once somebody tells you about this technique, and you start training your eyes as I'm showing you these videos. I mean, this stuff's just going to pop out to you. Look at this. See, they just put this little white right across it. Look at this. It comes up as a perfect triangle. 
to what's in front of it. That's that's a structure. There's a shadow underneath it. This thing could be huge. That's how far away they are. And it's hard to get any detail because number one, it's compressed. Number two, it's just cropped from so far away. I mean, look at this. This looks like somebody just, you know, dug that up. Look at it, see? Looks like somebody just dug up a fresh trench there. I mean, I'm no geologist, but... I mean, that looks... Either that's cover, there's stuff under there in, in like, straight lines, which I think it is, but they just covered it up. We'll never know what that is. I just wish NASA would come out already and just say, listen, we found something. We don't want to alarm everybody. You know, we'll slowly inform the public. That would that would make me happy. <laughs> make me go away. I'd leave them alone. I'd give them some peace for a couple weeks, as long as they held up their end of the bargain. You see how this is a 3D statue that's blurred. See how they blurred it all in? There's all types of stuff back here. Here, look, there's another one of those S. You can see it hidden under this. Like to me, this is like a, a rock wall coming up. And you can just see what's all, there's all types of, see this? Look at this, now it's coming out. See this, this carving? See it? There's one, one eye, the other eye. I'm tracing the face out. Do you see how that's hidden in there? See how that's hidden under that blur? There's all 3D items under here. You could walk, and you probably wouldn't even come up to probably that part of the base. You see what I'm talking about? This stuff that's hidden under here? It's just strange that they got that red and green right here. Just, see? It's kind of strange, isn't it? fake black smudges covering something up that's just a fake black totally black smudge a little advice to NASA use a little there's many different shades of black try them see that statue see now here's another one See how there's all stuff here? See, now that I pull away, you see what's here? See how that, that S? There's these S's all over. Here's another statue hidden. Carvings are just insane. This is a Disneyland of carvings. There's all types of trees. You know, people say, oh yeah, when you look up at the clouds, you see things, and yeah, you know, this and that. And you know what? When I look at the clouds, I never see anything. So, 
when I hear people looking up at the clouds and seeing faces and stuff like that, I see absolutely nothing. I remember when I was in school, they take you out in the yard and they say, oh, look up to the clouds, see who's, who's, what do you see? And I was always the idiot that said, man, I see nothing, I see clouds. <laughs> you know? See how this is all blurred? See this rectangular item back there? You know? Well, I'm not somebody to be easily fooled. I mean, even as a kid, I wasn't. It's just part of my life and the way it is. My father always taught me that sometimes things are not what they really seem to be. And even with people, sometimes they're not what they really seem to be. And sometimes you got to look a little deeper. You know, usually when you meet somebody, you got that first minute or two to kind of make your decision. And you know what, I've been pretty lucky through life with that. I can kind of read people pretty damn quick. And it's just something he taught me, you know. It doesn't make me any better than anybody else because most people are raised the same way. You know, you just... Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. And it's so true with NASA. It's a shame. It's a real shame. I mean, look at this piece of machinery. Just left out in plain view for me to find. See what I mean about stuff being hidden? Do you see how these are 3D structures? You see this face? They're twisting these photos somehow. There's all types of stuff back here. See this? This green stuff that they're trying to hide with this red and tan is, I believe, is moss and grass and brush. That's what they're hiding under here. See all this stuff? But this really caught my interest because that's a piece of machinery. That's no rock. What it is, I couldn't tell you. My knowledge of tools, machinery, heavy equipment easily tells me that that's a piece of equipment. See what I'm talking about? Let's see how close I can get in there. And there's a ball on the end. And now tonight I'm playing with pictures from NASA with no, basically no manipulation. Almost no manipulation. See this blur? Like it's doing a thousand miles an hour. See how this is a structure? You see how you could walk through here? Maybe moseying on. This is a wall with some type of carvings, or you'd be walking through here, which I believe is a graveyard. See this? There's a statue or something. Who knows? Maybe it's a person with a backpack. You see how you can walk through here, you see all this structure? Circles. There's just no reason to blur this stuff out if there's nothing there. See this? They put this blur right in front of this. You see this? I believe that to be a beautiful statue. See that? They just blared that in front of there. What the hell on earth can you equate to that? Come on. Okay. Look at this thing. It's got like a ball on the end, a couple connectors. 
Looks to be some type of teeth or something in here. Who even who even knows what they're doing up there? Maybe it's used to grind rocks or maybe it's uh you know like when you go to some places like in Nevada you see like these scrap guys that just make crazy crazy you know architecture out of junk. That's good. Who knows? That could be what it is. Look at this thing, how it comes up. Who knows? That could be what we're looking at. See how they blurred the face of the statue? See what they did? See how you see See that eye? You see how you see it there? And you see it there? You're seeing the same item repetitive. Just, just basically just tripled. That's all. So your eye can't catch it from a distance. See a circle. Nothing fancy. Alright guys, it's Truth Seeker. And I'm out.